Have you ever pondered how art and culture have evolved over the centuries? Have you ever wondered how the intricate carvings of ancient civilizations morphed into the grandeur of the Renaissance? Or how the stark realism of the Baroque period gave way to the abstract expressions of the modern era? How about the direction art and culture are heading in today's digital age? By tracing the history of art and culture, we can better understand our past, present and future. To truly appreciate the evolution of art and culture, we must start at the very beginning. Picture, if you will, the dawn of human creativity, expressed through the strokes of ochre and charcoal on cave walls. These early cave paintings, often depicting animals and hunting scenes, were the first known examples of humans trying to understand and represent their world. Moving forward in time, we encounter primitive sculptures, made of stone, clay and bone, these figures were not merely decorative, they were imbued with meaning, perhaps serving as talismans or as representations of deities. We also see the emergence of early religious rituals, where dance, music and storytelling combine to form a rich tapestry of cultural expression. These rituals were the precursors to theatre, choral music and oral literary traditions. Each of these forms of early creativity laid a solid foundation for the artistic movements that followed. These primitive beginnings were the sparks that ignited the flame of artistic and cultural evolution. Fast forward to the Renaissance, a period of unprecedented artistic and cultural growth. This era, encompassing the 14th to the 17th century, was nothing short of a cultural rebirth. It was a time when art and culture, after enduring the intellectual slumber of the Middle Ages, awakened with a renewed vigor and vibrancy. Imagine, if you will, the bustling streets of Florence, Italy, often hailed as the birthplace of the Renaissance. Here, the air was thick with creativity, ideas, and a newfound appreciation for the human spirit. The Renaissance gave us visionaries like Leonardo da Vinci, a polymath who fused art and science in his works. With his Mona Lisa and The Last Supper, he captured the human condition in a way that was profoundly relatable, and yet, undeniably ethereal. Then there was Michelangelo, whose works like the Statue of David and the Sistine Chapel ceiling brought biblical narratives to life with an unprecedented realism and emotional depth. These artists, along with countless others, challenged conventions, embraced individuality, and celebrated the human potential like never before. Their works were not just visually stunning, but they were also imbued with deeper meanings that resonated with the intellectual curiosity of the Renaissance society. The Renaissance was a time when art became more than just an aesthetic pleasure. It transformed into a medium of self-expression and a catalyst for critical thinking. The Renaissance was a pivotal moment in history, setting the stage for the modern world of art and culture. As we moved into the 20th century, Art and culture began to reflect the rapid changes in society. A new era dawned, one that was marked by a sense of rebellion against tradition and a thirst for innovation. This era was the advent of modernism, a time when artists began to experiment with form, color and perspective, breaking away from the realistic representations of the past. This period birthed movements like Impressionism, where artists like Monet and Renoir sought to capture the fleeting effects of light and colour in their paintings. Their brushstrokes were bold and visible, a stark departure from the smooth, almost invisible brushwork of the previous eras. Impressionism was in many ways a response to the newly invented photography, forcing painting to redefine its purpose. Then came Cubism, pioneered by artists such as Picasso and Braque. Rather than depicting objects from a single viewpoint, Cubism presented multiple perspectives at once, reflecting the complexities and fragmented nature of modern life. This revolutionary style of painting was a direct response to the rapidly advancing technologies and the tumultuous political climate of the early 20th century. Finally, surrealism, with figures like Dali and Magritte at the helm, plunged into the depths of the subconscious mind, bringing dreams and fantasies to life on canvas. This movement was a reaction to the devastating effects of the First World War and the growing interest in psychology. These movements, and others, reflected the societal changes of the time. They were more than just artistic styles. 
They were a mirror to the world, reflecting the rapid changes, the anxieties, the hopes and the dreams of a society in flux. The 20th century was a time of rapid change and experimentation, pushing the boundaries of what art and culture could be. Art was no longer just about representation, it became about expression, about questioning, about pushing boundaries and challenging norms. Each brushstroke, each sculpture, each piece of music was a testament to the spirit of the age, a spirit of rebellion, of innovation, of exploration. The 20th century was a time of rapid change and experimentation, pushing the boundaries of what art and culture could be. Now we find ourselves in a digital age where art and culture continue to evolve in unexpected ways. Technology has become an inextricable part of our lives and its influence on art and culture is no exception. Consider the rise of digital art, a genre that harnesses the power of technology to create visuals that were once unthinkable. It's a realm where creativity meets innovation, resulting in works of art that are as complex as they are captivating. Next, let's talk about social media. It's not just a platform for connecting with friends anymore. Artists now use it to showcase their work, break down barriers, and engage with an international audience. And who could forget virtual reality? This immersive technology is paving the way for new forms of artistic expression and cultural engagement. It's a new frontier, teeming with possibilities. As we move forward, one thing is clear. Art and culture will continue to evolve, reflecting and shaping the world around us. So what have we learned from this journey through the evolution of art and culture? We've seen how art and culture have their roots deeply embedded in ancient history, shaping civilizations and influencing human thought. We've explored the rebirth of art and culture, witnessing how they flourished during the Renaissance, a time of profound intellectual and artistic awakening. Moving into modernity, we've observed how art and culture have persistently evolved, reflecting societal changes and shaping our perception of the world. We've glimpsed into the present and beyond, considering how art and culture continue to redefine themselves, adapting to the rapid pace of our ever-changing world. Art and culture, then, are not static. They are dynamic, ever-evolving entities that mirror our societies, our values, our aspirations. They are the testament of our past, the lens through which we view our present, and the compass that might guide our future. As we continue to navigate the 21st century, we can look to art and culture as a mirror of our times, offering insights into where we've come from and where we might be headed. 